Hey Dave, I've been doing C-sharp for a little while, but I actually haven't been keeping up with a lot of the new features that have been added to the language. And in particular, I heard that there's a feature called property pattern matching. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know what it is. Do you have a moment to show me really quickly and tell me how it works? Absolutely, I'd love to, Cecil. I've actually prepared a demo that demonstrates property pattern matching specific to switch expressions. So we have a compute sales tax function and an address record. Now. A record for the address has the city, state, zip code, things of that nature. And then we also require a sale price. We can express this method as a switch expression on the location itself. So we're actually evaluating the address instance. And for each of the case labels or case arms, we're going to evaluate individual properties. So the state abbreviation when it's Washington will be expressed as the sale price times 6.5%. Got it. So now I'm going to pass in an instance of address and you know this this feature is able to inspect any of the properties. In this case we're looking at the state abbreviation. But so now based on the value of the state abbreviation, it'll give me back like the correct um the correct tax that I need to apply for that state. Correct. Yep. Now, what if I wanted to match on more than one property? Like how would that work exactly? Uh, sure. So you can actually do compound property expressions where uh, the order does matter. So it takes precedence. So you have to be more specific the higher up. So uh, line 13 demonstrates that when the state abbreviation is Wisconsin and the city is Milwaukee, it's 5.6% for the sales tax. Uh, however, if the city is not Milwaukee, but it is still Wisconsin, we'll fall back down to 5% uh, sales tax. Got it. Uh, so I actually have a demo. Uh, function here that instantiates an address for New Jersey, it defines a sale price of $73.49, and then it writes the computed tax. So that is a helper function down here that just kind of delegates out to write line and calls compute sales tax on the given address and sale price. Uh, but we're going to mutate the address a few times to show you uh, what that looks like as we call it multiple times with different address values. So you might expect the output to be um, Jersey City, some sort of sale price uh, and tax, and then Wisconsin, Waukesha, it would be slightly less, and then Milwaukee would be slightly more. Awesome. And so now it looks like the outputs come back, and kind of like mm -hmm. what you said, right? It's it's letting us know what the sales tax is for those different items based on the city, and it's using that property pattern matching feature you showed us just a little while ago. Absolutely. Yep. So this looks like a really cool feature, and I love how readable the code is. Like when I think about my own code and what I would have had to have written to make this work, I'm thinking about a lot of if else statements. I'm thinking about a lot of switch case statements, and you know this is so much shorter. It's so much more readable. And it's definitely something I want to try it in my own code as well. Absolutely, that's what I love about it. Is it's a lot more expressive, and I think that's really the future of C sharp. It just becomes more and more uh, expressive with each iteration. Definitely. So if you liked what you've seen and you want to learn a little bit more about property passion, pattern matching, make sure you check out the link in the description below.